Hey there guys, welcome to Redline Revsit. I'm your host, Mark the Mechanic, the big cheese of Redline. We've been saying for a few years we want to launch our own channel, so this is going to be the first sort of uh, video that we're releasing. We decided we're going to start to build a few cars. No more just we're so busy with servicing and maintenance and keeping customers happy, but we need a little shop run around. So I got this uh, 2009 City Golf Tenacity 1.4R that I bought from a friend of mine. Stock standard car, 100% original, never been modified, even the exhaust pipe is still original. So what we've decided to do, we're going to do a, a street sleeper sort of conversion. So in this Golf I've decided I'm going to fit a 2 litre 16 valve. I'm going to use a 9A engine. Everyone seems to be using the ABFs nowadays because they're more readily available. I've had this engine for more than 15 years. It was in my previous race car and it's sort of been standing around for the last five years waiting for a new home. I decided that it's time for my 9A to get a car. So when this car came along I already knew what I wanted to do with it and we've basically just uh, sent it for a polish and a bit of a clean so it's ready for its conversion. So basically I'm just going to do a short video on the car, go around, show you that it's stock standard, show you the 0 to 100 and stuff like that, you know, so you can see that it really is a bog standard car. Hopefully once we start modifying it, uh, you'll see the little tips and tricks we're using to fit the 16 valve in. We're just waiting at the moment for all the bits to arrive. We have got a few upgrade bits that we're fitting to the car. Obviously uh, we want to make the car handle because it's going to have a lot more power. So we are doing a full suspension job. We will be fitting coilovers. We will be doing some suspension upgrades as well as uh, doing some brakes upgrades. And then obviously we'll have to do a bit to the cooling system. Having a two liter, it will need a bit more uh, cooling capacity. But other than that, we're just going to keep it pretty much stock standard like you could have bought it from the factory. Unfortunately, 16 valve didn't come out in Golf 1s, but in the old days it used to be the conversion that everyone did. Everyone was turboing the hell out of them, so we decided not to go the turbo route. We want just something that's got a bit of a burble, a bit of a street river, so that's why I decided to go the NA route and to fit the 16 valve. A lot of guys are using the 8 valves, putting 8 valve performance heads, and I'm not knocking any of them. They do make power. They sometimes make more power than the 16 valves. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll be able to give you a new video soon and show you how far we're going with the car. So good luck, see you soon.